Martin Harris and the Lost Pages. Joseph Smith's family was poor. They needed money. Joseph wanted to help his family. He went to the state of Pennsylvania to work. He lived with a man named Mr. Hale. Mr. Hale had a daughter named Emma. Joseph met Emma. They fell in love and got married. They went to live with Joseph's family. Joseph helped his father work on the farm. Many people knew Joseph had the gold plates. They tried to steal them. The people made trouble for Joseph. They told lies about Joseph and his family. The trouble was so bad that Joseph and Emma decided to move. They wanted to go to Pennsylvania. They would live near Emma's family. But Joseph and Emma did not have enough money to go. A man named Martin Harris lived near Joseph Smith. Martin Harris had a big farm. He had a lot of money. Martin Harris was kind to Joseph and Emma. He gave them money to help them move. Joseph and Emma went to Pennsylvania. Joseph began to translate the writing on the gold plates. Joseph did not know what the writing meant. God helped him. Joseph used the Urim and Thummim to understand the words. We can read what he translated. It is called the Book of Mormon. Martin Harris went to Pennsylvania. He helped Joseph translate. Joseph read the words from the gold plates. Martin wrote them on paper. Joseph and Martin translated 116 pages of the Book of Mormon. Martin Harris wanted to take the 116 pages home. He wanted his family to see them. Joseph asked the Lord if Martin could take the pages home. The Lord said, no. Joseph asked again. The Lord said, no, again. Martin still wanted to take the pages home. Joseph asked again. This time the Lord said Martin could take the pages home. The Lord said Martin could show the pages to his family, but he must not show them to other people. Martin promised to obey the Lord. He took the pages home. He showed them to his family, but he did not keep his promise. He showed the pages to some other people. Then he put the pages away. Later, Martin went to get the pages. He looked everywhere. He could not find them. The pages were lost. Joseph was very worried about the lost pages. He could not sleep. Jesus talked to Joseph. He said Martin Harris had done a wicked thing. Martin promised to obey the Lord, but he did not keep his promise. Now the pages of the Book of Mormon were lost. Martin Harris could not help translate again. Jesus said Satan wanted the 116 pages to be lost. Wicked men had the pages. Satan and the wicked men wanted to stop God's work. They did not want people to believe the Book of Mormon. Jesus said Satan could not stop God's work. Wicked men could not stop God's work. Jesus told Joseph not to worry about the stories that were on the lost pages. The same stories were written in another part of the gold plates. Jesus said Joseph should translate the other part of the plates. Then good people could read the Book of Mormon. They would believe the book was true. They would learn the gospel. 